Hey guys, Big Flip here. This is a heads up video. And be very careful when you're purchasing coins, especially coins that could possibly be worth a lot of money. I paid a lot of money for this coin, um, assuming that it was uh, real and not fake, not a copy. And um, I did purchase it from a reputable seller. Um, there was absolutely no fraudulent stuff going on. It was le legitimately an honest and very truthful seller that just didn't know. And when I got it home after buying it, I took it to my coin shop and they ended up running a test on it. And I had questions about it originally. And this is an 1871 CC dime. I'll show you under the scope. And it looks legit to me. It looked legit when I was purchasing it. And it's even got remdings, a little bit of um, denticles issues. It looks like it's, you know, been around the horn a little bit. It looked very real to me. And if you go in and you look at it, um, of course, I didn't get to see it this close when I bought it. But... Like I said, me and the seller have resolved the problem. I'm going to send this back to the seller, but I want you to see the CC down here. This is a um, a dime that is really, really low mintage, 20,000. Let me get down here and get you in there maybe. Yes. So I want you to look at this CC. And you can go and look at any other CC out there. See how this CC is bubbly all the way around? It doesn't really have any serifs that are running on the top and the bottom of the CCs. And so that was a that was a little something that um, once I got it home, I said, nah, it doesn't look right. And then we'll also look at the head. The head is really has no definition to it, which is... That, usually there's some definition to the head. And then let's look at the letters. The letters don't look correct either. They're all thin. They're thin all the way around. So long story short, if a deal is too good to be true, it's probably too good to be true. Now, like I will get back to, the seller of this coin did not know. And when I took it to the coin shop, um, I had... An incredibly knowledgeable um, owner of my coin shop look at it and he says no nah, it's not right he weighed it the weight was off and then he ran it underneath his x-ray machine and it came back copper nickel with a uh, silver dip so be very careful this is a 20,000 um, mintage coin that somebody has faked and just a little heads up, if the deal seems too good to be true, then it's probably too good to be true. Um, you all have a great day. Do something nice for somebody. Pay it forward every chance you get. Let's be good people. One last thing. Apologies to all my followers, close followers. You know I have not streamed a lot lately. And um, uh, my time is getting loosened up a little bit. So maybe I can start uh, streaming again at least once a week. Um, I don't know if it's going to move to the middle of the week or to stay on the weekends, but I think it's going to be middle of the week because the weekends will be full. So, um, like I said, let's be good people. I'll see you on the next one. Please take care. Have a great day.